Hello everyone, welcome to a new Crash Bandicoot 2 mod video. Yes, despite seeing that weird warp room, this is actually a Crash Bandicoot 2 mod, and this has been created by, uh, I always forget how to pronounce it, it's like, it's like Eurumu, you know, it's like a, a Japanese name, and uh, with a lot of help from uh, Averso. So, long story short, they are working on a mod pack for Crash Bandicoot 2. And as you can see already in this video, there are new features and like never before seen things from you know, these crash games. Basically, look, they destroy certain hazards in the level. We have the semi-reinforced crate. It's actually a really interesting concept. And what they're, what they're trying to do is kind of bring these all these new techniques and concepts to Crash Bandicoot 2, you know, and obviously we've got Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, like obviously Crash 4 is out now, and it is a fantastic, it's a tremendous game, don't get me wrong, but it is really, really awesome to see modding still actually happen uh, in the classic series. I don't know what the modding scene's going to look like for It's About Time, but given that the engine it was built on, it probably means that we're going to be able to see some cool stuff in the future, and of course we have uh, ARDs, Cog Monkeys, uh, Crash 1, 2, and 3, you know, the Insane Trilogy mod, like the level builder thing coming up as well. So really, long story short, it is a tremendous time to be a Crash Bandicoot fan, and a tremendous time even to be just a Crash Bandicoot in the Crash Bandicoot modding scene, even as just a lurker like I myself am. Now, this level is really, really interesting because it blends not only these new box concepts, but the way, if you look, he jumped down before, right? Like, he literally jumped down, like, the hole, and instead of going to, like, you know, like an underground sort of section, look at this, they've implemented these kind of platforms. There's just so much going on that I'm legitimately, like, losing my mind trying to even explain it. It's just really cool. You'll notice that the colors, so, for example, like, things like hex, des the hex colors have been changed, so enemies look different and, you know, all that kind of weird stuff. It kind of looks really, really bizarre. And you'll see as well, I don't know if the fog is done for purely aesthetic or maybe potentially like loading and stuff like that. Now look, go back down here and you fall back down here. That, that is just the coolest thing. And now the way in which the level, it's like it's like they've merged parts from, you know, Crash Dash and or like, you know, like, like one of the Dash levels and digging it and, and behaving if you look here. So it's, that again is really, really interesting because the idea of like blending certain levels together for these mod packs is really interesting to me. Here we go. Ooh. By the way, music is fantastic as well. Uh, some of the music tracks have been created by, uh, I don't know, again, don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like, it looks like Bale slash Cree, as in, which I don't know if that's short for Chris, because, oh, look at the colors there. How odd's that? They're in a good way. I, I feel like I feel like I have to I feel like I have to specify. I'm like, it's a good way, trust me. This idea of this night version though, actually, I dig it a lot. I think it actually works really, really well in like a really spooky Whoa! You see that? That was fascinating. Okay. So now we jump around. The thing about the Necropolis mod, that's what it's called, uh, is it's very, very weird. Okay. What's going on there? So we can't access that yet, is that right? Oh, there's the fireflies as well. Okay, so I'm guessing... Ooh, okay. This is cool. I bet you this would be super, super difficult to play. Like, it's one of those things where, like, you're watching and like, oh, this guy's so good. But it's like, if you actually played it yourself, you'd be struggling. Oh my god, okay. How he even has the time to do that? That's awesome. Alright, falls back down. What now? I'm just watching this level. Oh, a yellow gem, gold gem. I wonder what that means. I wonder if that means that like each level will have a gem. That'll be interesting actually. If each level, if each level can have like a gem, uh, you know, like a colored gem, that's maybe that's how the mod pack will work. But I actually don't know. I, sh I should actually talk to Averso, like because I know that he's he's sort of involved with a community that I'm involved with. Um, he was a speedrunner in the uh, Wampa Classic tournament, so. All right, okay, let's... I love this music, by the way. How good is it? Oh, listen to that. Wait. That music... Isn't that like... It reminds me of, like, Jack... I'm, I'm, I'm blanking here, but I'm pretty sure it's a, like a remix of something. 
um, with like crash sound. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. But yeah, by the way, this will go for about seven minutes because yeah, this is like a huge level. If you think about in like the Crash Bandicoot series, probably Crash 4 notwithstanding, notwithstanding because you know, Crash 4 ended up having some crazy, crazy box counts. Um, but this is actually, this would actually be one of the longer levels in, in the series, judging by just all the stuff you're doing and all, like, you know, getting everything in order. This is like a complete, it's not, a, I wouldn't say it's a mess, but it's like, oh my God, what is going on? Okay. Did he even land that? There we go. There's the crystal. Oh, what's that? No bonus round? Okay. No bonus round, I can't believe it. My, my bonus round guide. I can't do a bon I can't do a I can't do a uh, crash two mod pack uh, bonus round guide. I'm 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 seething right now. Absolutely seething. I just want to just like not talk and just listen to the music. But yeah, you guys go support the original upload as well. Go leave a comment and say that uh, this is the best thing ever. And if you want to say I sent you, go ahead. If you want to annoy them, that's that's fine. Um, here we are coming to an end. 219 boxes and the gem. What an effort from Arumu. I, Arumu. Yeah, I, I, I have to say it in a Japanese way. I just, I have to. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I just, obviously, this one came out back in July 1st, actually. So, start of the new financial year for Australians. We got to see the ne Necropolis, but 40, you know, 46 or so thousand people have seen it over there. I just wanted to make sure if you're a fan of mine that, uh, you know, you know about these mods, go subscribe to Erumu um, and like Averso and a bunch of other people who deserve so much credit. These guys are incredible. Thank you once again, guys, and I will see you with future Crash Modding videos. Goodbye.